Hi everyone, nice to see you all. I've been quite a lot, I've been quite missing for a while, but um, I'm back again now. I'm just going to make sure my volume's down and that everything as it should be. Right, okay. That's that, yes, marvellous. Um, That's it, lovely. Okay, so, um, for those who don't know, I'm Sam Mulligan and I'm from craftybestlife.co.uk. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Somerset, England. And I've got so much stuff to share with you, but I'll do it little by little. So, this was the spring, the annual catalogue that came out in June. <laughs> Um, this is the new autumn winter catalog so I'm going to show you a few things from here first and then we'll move on to that one I have got loads and loads of stuff that I've not used yet so um, life gets a little bit complicated sometimes but um, there we go I'm here now I'm back so we'll leave that one just over here <coughs> bit sniffy sorry hay fever Tip McGovey. So, um, as a demonstrator, we get to do a pre pre order, which I've done, and in May, then we get to do a pre, you know, in April, then I get to do a pre order in May, and then order again in June. So, um, there are a shelf full of things I haven't shown you, but I'll just show you what I've recently ordered. So, this one is silhouette scenes. Is that light a bit glary? have a look I'll be alright so this one is silhouette scene so as it suggests it's silhouette red rubber stamps and this is part of a suite and then we have coordinating dies which of those Apologies if my camera wobbles. I've had a craft room renovation and I've got my webcam on a gooseneck, but unfortunately, in order to get it to be seeable, or in the right, no, that's not the right word, in the right place, um, I've got to put it right in front of me. So, apologise if I get that happening. Uh, friends like you, photopolymer stamp set. Again, this is more of a silhouette. But this one's this one's photopolymer, so you can stamp your trees and the fronds on the top. And then this one has a die set. Now I've just twiddled my grid paper. No better. But I've got lots of things. And then these cut out silhouette borders, so it gives you an edge. Might help. Yeah, that was the right way. Gives you an edge like that. And it cuts out a border. Um, that's not got a sweet, but it is it does work quite well with the previous one I just showed you. And then we've got banding together. Now I think I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. <coughs> no, we'll carry on. And this is a large stamp set which you can colour, heat and boss with, all sorts of things, that one. And this one comes with dies, which are called detailed bands. Oh, there you go, sorry. Hang on. Let me put you back straight. That's better. And these are absolutely gorgeous. They've got the, they cut out the frames. And then this frame here fits inside of that one. So you can cut that out, what you've stamped, and then fix it in there and put that on your card or your box lid or whatever, really. So that's that one. But I will be back with making things over the next few weeks. So I will um, show you all this in a bit more detail then. I'm still not straight. 
can't fiddle with it because I'll make it more, even more messy. Um, this is one is called Path of Petals. So we've got the stamp set, which is a bit. And then that has a set of dies. So we've got more frames here. They've got a bit of a thing for frames. So they fit around the sentiments or the sentiments fit in them rather. So there's that one. And again, this is a suite. So it's got designer series, paper, ribbon, various other things. It also has an embossing folder. So these are our Stampin' Cup and Emboss folders from Stampin' Up. This one hasn't even come out with plastic. Hang on. So we've got, this one is called um, Script Day. So if I hold that up, it's always easier to see that than it is to actually try and see the embossing folder. So that's the sweet. All what I'm showing you here is in the annual catalog if you haven't got a catalog then you can pop over to my online shop and take a look at crappybestlife.stampinup.net and it's all in there i've got smoky snow gray granite and seaside spray no yeah seaside spray um blends and i've now got a complete set so i'm quite pleased with myself that i've now got a totally complete set of blends and we've got another embossing folder. Let's take that off. <coughs> Don't need to hear it rattling, do you? This one is called Eyelet Lace. And then it's Eyelet Lace. Is that, um, there's a lot of clothes with this on at the moment, with like the pinhole um, fabric. So is that what it's called, eyelet lace, or is it, I thought it had a different name, I couldn't remember what it was. Beautiful friendship, this is stunning, this one, I love this one, all like watercoloured. I've seen some lovely things done with this one, again it's photopolymer, so that you can stamp your... flowers and then you can stamp the inside so you can see where you're putting them. So there's that one and then there's stargazing. I love this one. That one's red rubber but it's a distinctive I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's a distinctive, so the stamps don't look like there's anything on it until you stamp it, and then you get lots of depth and texture from one stamp. Birch background stamp. Love this. Uh, I never owned background stamps till recently, and now I've got, like, loads of them. But that gives you a birch tree. And then family party, and this one... It's brilliant because it's got all the names on and numbers and things like that. So that's great for birthdays, anniversaries and things like that. Put that over there. Then I've got some 6x6 DSP. Now these come in every colour family. So we've got subtles, brights, neutrals regals and then we've got the in colors so for each color family we get the pack of the designer series paper so this one is regals so we've got that scripty there again which is similar to the emboss folder every pack now has gingham in it and then there's like this triangular stitch and then like that so that's all those different colors so they're available in each color family which they're really useful because when you know something's the right color it's just there you don't have to think about it so 
that's all I got from that catalogue. So I'll move on to the autumn winter one now. This one is available to order from on the 4th of September. So if you'd like a copy, drop me a message and I can send you one out in the post. If you want to order from it sooner, then you can put items from this in your demonstrator kit so you can get it sooner and start playing sooner and you, sooner than oh shouldn't do that that's why i don't put them there because i knew i'd start flicking on a flicker right let's put that out of the way right so let's see what i've got here then right i'll just unload a minute Still in its box, see. That's that. Let's just try and get out what's in the actual sweet. I'll do the paper at the end because that's right in the bottom, so I can't get to it at the moment. Right, so Christmas gleaming. What's the sweet called? Hang on. Do, 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 do. I'll just flick in a minute. Hang on. I should have marked the page, shouldn't I? I haven't got that far. Brightly gleaming sweet, this is called. So, this is all copper colours and. <clears throat> We'll look at the colours in a minute. So first of all, we have the stamp set Christmas Gleaming, which is Red Rubber. And that comes in a bundle with punches. I'm just going to shine now, isn't it? Turn them over. Can't really see them that way. So we've got a little ball ball and a larger one there. And then from outside the suite, there's also this stamp set, and that punch coordinates with those as well. So it kind of goes together, but doesn't, if you see what I mean. You don't need both, or you can just have one or the other. So there's that one. And then we have some copper stars. That lights a bit. And then we've got some co large copper embellishments. What are these called? Brightly gleaming foil elements there. Then we have a ribbon in very vanilla. Bleh, try that again. <laughs> very vanilla and copper. Oh, wind's howling outside the window. And then we have um, hammered metal, metal, metal embossing folder. Um, that's a 3D one. So that goes with that. I'm running out of places to put this now. Hang on. <coughs> I'll show you the papers that go with it in a minute, but they're right at the bottom of the box at the moment. Um, right. I love this one. This one got me quite excited. Still scenes. So we have a snow globe. And a little house you can stamp and colour and put in your snow globe. And then we have dies. If I can get them out of the bucket. <clears throat> These are called snow globe scenes dies. So hold on, wrong way. Let me open those up. So you've got the globe. Then you've got the stand like a fancy one then you've got a straight one then this goes together to make a 3d church trees reindeer polar bears and then this one here cuts out that there so this is a bundle so with every bundle you buy you get a 10 percent discount but there's more we have got I can get them out. Snow 
going to shake for shaker cards. I can get them out. There we go. So there's there's ten in there, which is great. And they come with if I can get them apart. They come with um, adhesive on both sides, so that you can stick it inside your card or on the outside, I suppose, or put something over the back of it. So there's those that go on there. And then to go in the shaker card, ouch, we have some chunky glitter, which is called stamping ice stamping glitter. So it's a bit more like um, caster sugar, I suppose, sort of texture. And then we have some oh camera. What are these ones called? Snowflake sequins. So they are. There's like round ones and there's actual like snowflake shapes in there as well. I won't take the lid off because no me, I'll fling them all over the desk. <coughs> right, next we've got that. Next, we've got um, frosted. Let me find it. This is a sweet, and it's called feels like frost sweet. So we've got a stamp set, and we've got framelits dies. Then we've got six by six pack of DSP, and this super duper ribbon. This is um, one of the new ink colors. It's seaside spray. That's sparkly. We've got that. I'll just check there's nothing else. Oh, the chunky glitter goes with that. Oh, yes, there is something else. Where is it? We have crystal effects, shimmery crystal effects. So there's crystal, they've got like sparkle in them. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. No, probably not. So this is all, this is my favourite one. This is the one I had to have first. So we've got the stamp set, which is like that. Again, red rubber. Then we've got dies, which are called frosted frames. It's hard to say. Frosted frames. And they are, as the title suggests. And this one is obviously separate and then that cuts out some fancy leaves there's a separate one there some snowflakes and i can show you the paper because it's got it now when you buy paper you usually like one side and not the other but this one is definitely a uh, both sides <clears throat> so we've got how many have we got in here? It's usually around 48. So this is Barney Blue, Blushing Bride, um, I can't do move my hands and talk at the same time, obviously. Holland Heather, Night of Navy, Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, Smoke. Slay and Whisper White. So these are actually photographs. I'm not sure. Okay, that light's not quite right, is it? I see these are photographs of frosty things. So you get four of each. For that that'd be great like in a frame or in, on a um six by six card or you could cut it down to four or six and a sentiment and there you go job's done and we've got these and we've got some trees Do 
do, do. Find clothes. And then this one. And they're, they're stunning. But when you turn them over, they're all silver foil. Now, this is probably going to make my camera go a bit mental. They're all silver foil. So that might be one of those packs you have to buy two of. So you've got one silver foil and one picture. So that's that one. Okay, let's look at some. We have from our house to yours, which is a little housey photopolymer. So you can build your little house, you've got windows and doors, and make them however you want. Um, I'm not really a Halloween person, but I couldn't resist this one. This is Boo to You. I said to my husband, that's what he looks like when he gets up in the morning. <laughs> and then we have gorgeous penguins. So these are all the colour and the texture is literally in one stamp. So they're almost like hand drawn, charcoal drawn penguins. And then we have this one, which is called Nature's Beauty. Now, this is our charity stamp set for the Autumn Winter Catalogue. And for every purchase, then £2.50 or €3 Euros will be donated to mental health charities in our country. So whichever your country you're in all over the world, it will be sent to a charity in your country. <coughs> So that's really helpful. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and think it isn't very easy, is it? I apologise. Let's like liven up a bit. Okay, so we've got to go with Mr. Boo to you. Some googly eyes. When you have googly eyes, you always have to call them googly eyes. So there's yellow ones, green ones, purple ones, and white ones. In I think there's three different sizes in there. So we've got those. We've also got some new ink. So we have copper. Celestial copper. That's gosh, isn't it? And then we've got shimmery silver. Whoop. There's also a gold as well, but I haven't got that one yet. Um, so these are basically, yeah, like they say, shimmery pigment ink. So they'll be great fun to have a play with. I think they stack, obviously, without the packaging on. Yeah, they stack. So we've got them. Then I've got bits of... Um, in the annual catalogue, Stampin' Up! has just started doing a one-item code, 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 code for the um, suite. So you haven't got to keep putting every individual bit in. You still get the 10% discount on the bundle, but obviously you can also still order bits and bobs, and I had to have this. So, tiny keepsakes. We've got some buffalo check. It's like a candy stripe. So we've got holly jolly, sweet treat, merry Christmas and for you. So that works for birthdays and Halloween and merry merry, that's it. It's not merry Christmas. So these are like so big and then this is so lovely we have a mini Kirby keepsake box so there we are so this cuts out on a 6 by 6 piece of paper wang it for your big shot or your die cutting machine and then you just fold it up, no gluing, no cutting, just pass through the shop. And we've got these tags here that these sentiments fit on. 
and then there's a die there to cut the snowflake out as well and some bit of spriggy fancies there as well so there and there right where am i now let's see <clears throat> snow front now this is if i can find it a holiday or winter version of waterfront so this is the beaches and palm trees and beach huts on this one and then here we've got the snow and the deer and the little wooden cabin and it gives you a sort of a watercolour wash effect so it's I've, again I've seen some lovely things done with that one and it's brilliant so I'll be playing with that one soon right I just need to drink a bit of coffee and clear my throat sorry <coughs> get some more bits I got here. Right. So, oop, stay there. To every season. So, this is Christmas, Halloween, thank you, Valentine's Day, and then it comes with some lovely little itty bitty punches. You've got the bat, snowflake, leaf, and heart there. And this one is that one's supposed to polymer as well. And I'm wondering if they, some of those sentiments might actually fit on the um, tiny mini keepsake box as well. That might be a thing to look into. Um, what have we got here? As well. So we've got the um, an autumn suite called Gathered Together or something like that. Now I've not got the stamps there, but I've got the wooden embellishments, and I've also got the paper because I love autumn colours. They are my who's that? Hello, So Ward, Donna Whitaker, and Abby Spores. There we go. I can see my laptop screen just about. So we've got so her. Sahara sand ribbon, or it might be crumb cake, and it's got like a satin trim. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, got satin trim, and then this is a twine. So this isn't quite cotton thread, but it's not quite thick enough for baker's twine. And then it came with wooden embellishments. So we've got leaves, and then in the back there, there's like little tree slices. So I've got an idea for those. Um, what have we got here? Holiday rhinestone basics. So these basically cover the whole suite, across the suites in the whole catalogue. They go with everything. 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 We've also got some black dimensionals. Black dimensionals. We've got mini ones and normal sized ones there. There's a Halloween suite in the catalogue as well that I haven't got yet, but it actually does come with mini coffins, like treat boxes. Uh, another suite we've got is Snowman Soup. No. Don't know. Let it snow. Can you tell I haven't done this for ages? I can't remember how to talk and move at the same time. So it's called let it snow and there's the treat the mini keepsake box is part of the suite and then there's papers and another stamp set and dies and various other things and this is actually a little embellishment pack so we've got this nice box and then inside we've got some lights not really helping with it Sparkly. Oh, it's not gonna. 
Never mind. It's it's like got a sparkle to it anyway. And then we've got some snowballs in there. Sorry if you hear any noise in the background. The children's just come out to play, so I can. There might be a odd noise here or there. And then we've got these little felt things. So we've got a hat. We've got mittens. And we've got scarves. How cute are they? And then we've got all the bits you need to build your snowman. We've got sticks for arms, carrots, coal for belly buttons, and some for the eyes. And I, I, when I saw these, I thought, yeah, that can go on the penguins. That's my plan. So that comes in the red, the pink, a green. This is why I love stamping up. Everything coordinates. So if you pick up a real red ink pad and real red ribbon and paper and all the rest of this, all exactly the same colour. This one's a bit boring. I've got a stamping pierce mat. How long have we been here? I know, 31 minutes, blind me. So this is just a foamy pad for stamping and piercing on, really. So I'll put that one up there. And then we've got I think this is my favourite in the whole thing. So so many stars. So we've got this is a massive set. So we've got two stamp sheets in here. So when you look at the front of the stamp case, the images aren't always the size of the stamp. So this one is 75% of the actual size. So if you see this one here and this one here, they are actually not that you can see because there's something in the way. They are actually just considerably a bit bigger. So we've got the stamps and then we've got dies. I nearly wet myself, I feel so excited. Look at these. So these are like the um, stitch rectangles. They are stitched on the inside and the outside. So whichever, when you cut, each side will have the stitching. So we've got the stars, we've got fancy stars. And then we've got this lovely flourish. So you stamp the stars and then put that on and cut it out. Let me just find the stamp. So it's this one. So there's that set, that, those there, and those there. So they, you stamp those, and then they go, they match up with the dies, which is lovely. So that's that one. Okay. <coughs> this is tiring. I got the paper now. I don't know where to put it. Okay. This is the brightly gleaming. If I can get it out. Right, so this is the 12 by 12 for the Brightly Gleaming, and it's in the in the copper foiling. And we've got Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Pretty Peacock, and Very Vanilla. So you get two of each of the designs. I love that. That's your baubles. The copper's not showing very well. There it is, there. So it's all foiled. And we've got this one. And then we've got this one. This is fancy. That would, doesn't have to be Christmas, does it? It could be anything. It also goes quite nicely with the um, 
proud peacock, noble peacock suite in the annual catalogue. So that's these colours as well. So we've got that one. Then we've got this one. So that's the mossy meadow. It's not showing up very well on my camera, but it is quite a... In fact, it's not showing up at all. It just looks white to me. It's actually like green. And we've got this one. And then when you turn over, why have I got a funny thing on my computer screen? Something looks like a snowflake come up. Is it actually showing up on the video? No. Anyway, so we've got a nice stripe. They're great for mail cards, stars. This is lovely. Hollies and sprigs. So it's Christmassy, but not have doesn't have to be. You know, you could don't have to like finish your Christmas crafts and then stop doing it. And then there's that one. And then there's this one. So that's really nice. It strikes me new as go a bit funny. That somewhere. That's there. <laughs> so this one is the Come Together Designer Series paper. So this has a stamp set and dies with it. Obviously, I can't show you that because I haven't got it. Um, and it comes from the suite. And it goes with these colours, these ribbons, and those wooden elements. So we've got those. And um, it is autumnal, but not, it, you know, we've got pumpkins, but not, you know, it's not full of, like, pumpkin -y autumn stuff. So that's, that's quite nice. Now, this is why I got this one, because that reminds me of a coat my mum had or a bag or something when I was a kid. You know, like those straw bags. I think that's what it was, like a straw bag with that pattern on it. I've got some more pumpkins. Pumpkins in this autumn. Got this one. Tiny pumpkins. Can't see those. And then this like burlap spot. That's good. Description. And then if you turn them over. God. we've got the leaves this is what's in the actual stamp set uh, and the dies a lovely wood grain this is um this color is Cajun craze now it's not a color that gets an outing very often but I do actually love it it's one of my favorites it's very aut autumnal color and I do really like it so this is the pretty peacock. Again, that would go very well with other things. So although things come in sweets, you can you can mix and match and change them around. Again, not necessarily Halloweeny. Then we've got a gingham in that's a pretty peacock as well. So there's that one. Nearly there. We're nearly finished. We can go home in a minute. <laughs> we have <coughs> Mercury Glass Designer Acetate. Now this, I'm not going to show how this is going to pick up, but we'll try. So it, let's take those two off. So you've got the large crackle. Yeah, that light's not in the right place, really, is it? I've got a um, a, 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 my I film with a webcam, and I've got a, on a gooseneck, and it used to come hanging down from my desk, but now I've got a new desk. Um, the gooseneck isn't doing what it needs to do, so I'm hoping to get a 
like a boom arm thing that you can but I spent too much money on my stamping up things so I can't buy it yet so there's that one so that's 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 going to look lovely in the baubles and different things so that's that one so last last time last one made it through <laughs> is a brown box so this is Christmas countdown which is a stamp set that could be used alone but it's designed to go with what's in this box so if I just take this out keep your box and this is our advent calendar kit so this is strong old stuff it's not flimsy but it doesn't like bend or anything when you push on it so you get this I didn't realize the boxes were made up I thought that they were you had to make those but all the boxes are made and then with it you get where's me pokey instructions so this is a project kit but I'm thinking you could use it all the year round really so let's just turn that back over without knocking the camera hold on so I think these are about two by two inches let's just check on the with paper oh, that's centimeters that's not helpful yeah two inch squares so you get quite a fair bit in those so here's the instructions and if you want to do it exactly as they show you you can or you can just do it however you want Whoop. sorry getting excited again it's better so it comes with everything you need so you've got the draw fronts already pre-cut just stamp on them you've got all the bits of decorations some more there it's over there like a flowery thing snowflakes then you've got the numbers so you've got one to 25 Sorry, I've got an itchy eyelid. And then there's some more door covers. So they've come in all different ways. So this is what I'm going to be use, doing if people are interested. I'm going to be doing an online um, a class. So I'm thinking October half term week because. I think this would be easy to do if you wanted to, you know, if you bring your little ones and supervise them and help them. So, or would you do, you, let's just leave that and stop rattling. So, you would purchase this kit, which you can order through me. Obviously, if you come into my class, you need to order through me, you know what I mean. Um, right, let's get this right. So, you would order the kit i provide the stamp set the ink the adhesive and everything else and then we get together from what I, somebody said it's roughly two and a half hours to put it together now obviously maybe little ones can't quite go that long but we could always split them up so whatever works for you um it will be in wincanton where i live in a local venue that i need to find but i need to know numbers first in order to find the suitable venue if that makes sense so the class is actually 30 pounds of which 28 is for this kit and then the other two pounds is for me providing resources and assistance where it's where needed so that's yeah if you want to um chat about it or if you're interested then do give me a message and let me know if you're interested. Again, if you were at home online, you then obviously you need either this stamp set or a stamp set and some ink to go with 
I mean, if you add a gold ink pad to go with it, then you're set really, because you've got gold accents in there. So if you had like the gold version of this, I'd add that to your order. Hang on, throw my googly eyes about. <coughs> then, um, so you'd have that, 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 and the gold one of those. Then you've got everything you need apart from adhesive to stick the bits on. So if that's something you'd be interested in, I can order that and post that out to you. And if needed, I can go. I can do an online class version of it as well, so that anybody else wants to help. Like I say, it does come with instructions, but sometimes it's nice just to have somebody to talk to about it, isn't it? So yeah, the class will be for adults. I'll be doing it. I can do an adult only class. So if you want a bit of a rest and a couple of hours away from your children, we can do that. And then also we can do a children's class with um, you as a parent guardian would be with them to help them as well. And I'd just be there to supervise and provide um, the inks and the bits and bobs. So that's the last of it now that took me ages what's that taking me 46 minutes i don't expect anybody's here they've all gone out so yeah these are the boxes sturdy stuff and i'm thinking we've all got those children that have those silly little bits and bobs of things that don't quite go anywhere so if we put the drawers together for the advent calendar like that way and then when Advent is over, you can turn them round. We can, you can always decorate the other side, put them in that way. So then you've got a box storage that you can use all year round. Then also you've got the box to decorate as well. So that can be decorated. But if you're using it as an Advent calendar and you're going to put it away again, definitely keep the brown box it comes in because that will keep it all safe and happy. And um, that's that. So if anybody would like to know anything, then please drop me an email at sandwich16 at gmail.com. <coughs> I've been having awful, awful problems with Messenger and I would like not get any messages and then I get like 15 from like three weeks ago. So the best way to get hold of me would be by email. I will drop a link in the comments and I'll drop the August host code in the comments. And if you shop with me using that host code, then you'll get some gifties. And uh, with a thank you card and a thank you gift, you'll also get extra product with that as well. So if you'd like one of these, give me a shout. I can get one out to you. Um, I could say live on the 4th of June, September. You can have it, order from it now if you want to put it in a starter kit. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for putting up with me for 46 minutes. 43? Oh, 48 maybe. God, I can't see. Um, I'll be back with information as of when. I'll be back making YouTube videos as of when. Um, if there's anything you want to know or anything you want me to show you how to do or you know, if you want to know how to make a certain box or anything like that, please do get in touch and I can help you with that. Anytime. And in the meantime, I will love you and leave you and see you all again soon. Thank you. Whoops. <laughs>